I just want to do a quick video before I start tearing this apart. It's a 1978 Bronco. It looks like the 351M. That's what I'm hoping it is. It's got the two barrel. It's got AC. It's got a lot of rust, but really it's all there. So that's the hood bay. Here's another shot of it. Doors open and close just fine. You can tell there's a lot of rust on it. He has some sort of tin foil patch on it. Oh, not bad. Floors could be redone, but I mean, there's a lot of weldable material there. Here, let me zoom out. Oh yeah. So this door panel's in the back somewhere right there. It's all cracked up, but definitely usable. Headliners falling down, but there's not many tears. Dashboard has the uh, lights instead of the gauges. It's got the AC vents over there too. Mice ate out that uh, cardboard glove box. It's got the MP205 transfer case, C6 automatic. No idea the condition back seat doesn't look too bad definitely salvageable um, fiberglass top not in the worst shape it's got some drilled holes and um, you know this is going to clean up all this lichen it's got a big old dent in the tailgate so I don't know if I'll be able to open it or not smashed in tail light that's really only the only body damage and then so there's this little fiberglass break right here obviously if that's damaged the windows probably busted out I, I don't even see it in there so I don't know if I'd be able to put another one in just lots of junk it's been sitting since 1996 so That metal bumper is pretty stout. We pushed it up on the trailer with an excavator. It's got the Ford 9-inch rear. The yoke seems like the bearing's thrown out, so I'll have to look at that. It's got the Dana 44 front, and it's got the cast pieces, which makes it a little less desirable, but since we're keeping it in the truck, it's going to be just fine for us. 78 79 grill Let's see what got in here. more crap <laughs> a lot of mouse crap a lot of garbage we got these nice covers i'm probably gonna end up putting those back on depending on what we do dash only has a couple cracks in it which is really quite reasonable the paint on the inside is beautiful, but just little rust specks here and there for a Wisconsin truck, not bad. You can see some rust where the fiberglass topper mounts, but it's not too terrible. Definitely doable. This door panel plastic piece, that this can all be cleaned up. This is just a single bolt. Rust there, rust on this cab corner here, but gonna start ripping it apart got the ignition out don't have the keys for it so we'll see if we can get it turning over see what happens all right so i got most of the trash cleaned out obviously the headliner still in there i'm gonna probably cut that out i thought maybe i could save it and use it as a stencil to repair it which i might still do but there's a turkey leg or a chicken leg that's pretty fun in the back we found one of the uh floor trim pieces i believe it could be a bug guard like uh for smoking cigarettes but not sure on that exactly uh just a lot of paint chips is all that is oh we found some fuses and other goodies but nothing worth very much all right what else we got over here all right so we found a porcelain pony we found 
some fencing pliers, miscellaneous crap, some scrap metal. You know, got to make some money back from this. Here we got a drop plate for the hitch, which, uh, you know, whether we're towing with it or not doesn't really matter, but it might be nice to have it in the truck in case we ever DB the tire or something. Throw that on the bumper, can throw our jack under it a lot easier. It comes down another six inches, so probably only 18 inches off the ground. In the back, we found the uh, tailgate piece, which I don't know if this tailgate's salvageable or not. It very well could be. It's probably hard to see that on video, but might be able to pull that out, dent this down. There is glass in here, so the window ain't gonna be found. Uh, this seat is in pretty good shape. I don't see any tears in it. Uh, that dents just from the wood. I mean, that can come out. It's only 15 degrees here in Wisconsin, so a lot of ice. Can't pull everything up, but uh, we'll get it a little cleaner once it warms up. All right, well, I don't have a key, so I'm gonna work on taking the ignition out, getting a battery in here, hooking up the uh, voltage regulator and all that, seeing if we can get spark and seeing if uh, this thing will fire up. All right, so the uh, ignition, don't have the key, so I had to drill this bit out. I'll stick a pick in there, see if I can pull up. All right, so ended up having to drill it out, smack it out, but we'll be able to get a screwdriver in there and start it up. All right, well, we got a shitty battery <laughs> put in there, and uh, we're going to see if she does anything at all. I don't have my hopes up. There's been sitting for way too long, but literally nothing. Let's see if the lights even turn on. Sorry if my finger was in there. No. Maybe the battery's just extremely dead. Oh, I don't know. All right, so I checked the battery. I just put a wrench across it and it started to melt the terminal right away. So battery's gotta be good. It's gotta be uh, either a fuse, main fuse is blown or perhaps the ground's not hooked up, so. We'll look at that next. All right, so we got some jumper cables. Ground is on, I can get the spark off, but uh, you know, it's not it's not making any sparks when I hook it up there. And uh, it'll, spark, it'll spark on the starter, won't crank over. So I'm gonna need to dig into a few things, but I think that's all I'm gonna do for today.